This is Airflow Labs. Hello and welcome again, dear pilots. This video will be about how to set up your Honeycomb Alpha and Bravo controllers for our Cessna 172NG Digital. The process is not ideally straightforward, but I think this video should help and I believe all simmers using Xplain should be able to set everything easily. First of all, we need to download the Honeycomb Configurator software for Xplain. It's kind of official Honeycomb software, but it is provided and created by Aerosoft. I am providing the link in the comments. The installation is pretty simple, just make sure you select the correct main Xplain directory during install. The software install and main exe file locations are in Xplain 11, Resources, Plugins, AFC Bridge. In Windows, the shortcut is installed to the Start menu too. Now please download and unzip the profile we have created for our Cessna 172NG Digital somewhere on your PC. I am providing download links in the comments. You can uh, find it also on our webpage airflowlabs.com in C172NG Digital section under Downloads. It is also on Xplain.org forum and on Aerosoft forum. So after you launch the app you will see this screen. Now let's click on Actions, Open Settings, Import Profiles, select the profile file, check both profiles to import, click on Import Profiles, then OK. Now Click on Actions again, click on Change Selected Device to select it, and we can start with Alpha Oak. Click Load. Now click on Profiles, Select, and we select Alpha underscore C172 underscore NG underscore Digital. Now click on Actions and on Activate Current Profile. Now let's do the same for the Bravo Profile. Click again on Actions, click on Change Selected Devices to select the Bravo device, click Load. Now click on Profiles, select Bravo underscore C172 underscore NG underscore digital. Now click on Actions and on Activate Current Profile. And we are done with Honeycomb Configurator now. Unfortunately, the configurator is not able to set axis and some other details, so we need to set it in Xplain. So let's launch the explain. Let's go to settings, joystick, and at this time a small comment is needed. You can manage your explain profiles according to your needs and this tutorial will not explain how to manage your custom profiles in explain. It should just explain how to set Alpha and Bravo controller for our Cessna 172NG Digital. Where you save it or if you will use Xplain default profile or specific aircraft Xplain profile, it's up to you. So let's start with Alpha Yoke. We want to start fresh with all the pre-programmed setting. So let's click on Reset to Defaults for Alpha Flight Controls. Now let's calibrate. Now we click on Next and Next. 
and finish. Now the only thing the Honeycomb profile is not able uh, to configure outside the explain, at least with the current version, are buttons on the yoke handles. So those are the only ones we need to set for our Cessna 172 NG Digital in explain. The first one is pitch trim. The default bindings don't work correctly, so let's input Airflow custom commands here. For um, button number six, let's select, edit, and now search for trim and select exactly this specific command C172NG pitch trim A down and apply. For Button number five, let's select, edit, search for trim and select exactly C172NG pitch trim A up, apply. For number eight, let's select, edit, search for trim and select exactly C172NG pitch trim B down and apply. For number seven, let's select, edit, search for trim and select exactly C172NG pitch trim B up and apply. In case you want to use Airflow custom quick view feature, you can change the default bindings for the head switch. If you let it in the default, it will function as default view look rotation in explain. To set it with quick view, let's first deactivate all diagonal buttons. Now, set the up button to custom, edit, search for Apps, and in camera, select quick view up and apply. Now the right button to custom, edit, search for Apps, camera, Select Quick View Right, Apply. Now the Down button to Custom, Edit, Search for Airflow Labs, Camera, Select Quick View Down, Apply. Now the Left button to Custom, Edit, Search for Airflow Labs, Camera, Select quick view left and apply. One more command is needed to be changed and it is the autopilot disconnect switch, the red button number two. So let's click on edit. Now search for servos and pay attention, select exactly disco servers, whichever side is active and apply. Now click on control sensitivity and set pitch to 60% for the alpha controller. Then set the roll to 0%. Now make sure all stability augmentation axis sliders are set to 0%. The logic behind it is explained in the previous video. Now let's set the Bravo Quadrant. Device, select Bravo Throttle Quadrant, reset to start fresh and uh, to activate pre-programmed logic, calibrate now,
next and next and finish now let's scroll the right column to the GA throttle section and set left throttle as throttle 1 and check reverse axis then set right throttle as throttle 2 and check reverse axis then set left prop as prop 1 set the right prop lever as prop 2 set the left mixture lever as mixture 1 set the right mixture lever as mixture 2 and that's it we are good to go it is done I'm also attaching links in the comments to these two drawings that are showing what functionality is available for our 172 NG Digital in connection with Alpha, Yoke and Bravo Throttle Quadrant. Ok pilots, that's all for now and I'm looking forward to the next videos. Have a good flight!